want to move now to new details in the Stanford sex assault case. Brock Turner, an Olympic hopeful, has been banned for life from USA Swimming. Of course, that's in addition to his prison sentence and lifelong sex offender registration. And we are learning more about what happened that night and what the victim's sister as well as the victim's boyfriend are saying about it. And ABC's Eva Pilgrim is here with the story for us this morning. Hi, Eva. Good morning, Paula. Intense scrutiny this morning as to why a judge sentenced a former star Stanford swimmer to only six months in jail for a drunken sexual assault at a university campus party. Now, new details at that case are public and the shattered lives it left behind. Do you have anything to say? This morning, explosive new court documents released exposing disturbing new details of what happened that night on the Stanford campus. The real bombshell in these documents is the accusation that he was on the prowl that night. The sexual assault victim's sister recalls trying to get away from Brock Turner at the party. He tried to kiss me earlier in the evening. This doesn't look like an isolated incident. The sister's message to Brock Turner, the damage you inflicted is irreversible. The victim's boyfriend saying she now habitually hides in our apartment bathroom and locks the door. In the probation report, Turner stopping short of apologizing, having imposed suffering on someone else, I can barely live with myself. But the prosecutor calling that report baffling, saying it inaccurately portrays sincere remorse. He did not know her. He took her behind a dumpster. It was She was completely unconscious. Activists enraged by what they're calling a light sentence, delivering nearly a million signatures, fighting for the removal of the judge in the case. Turner's mother foresaw it all, writing to the judge before the sentencing that her son would be a target and all the publicity would be a death sentence for him, adding he'd have to register as a sex offender on the same level as a pedophile. And now a group of California legislators are also calling for the removal of the judge on this case, what continues to go on. It continues yeah. to go on. I know this judge, though, um, a lot of people thought he's a fair judge, and that's from both sides of the aisle as well. So he's under a lot of pressure and scrutiny this morning, Eva. Indeed. Many more developments to come. Eva, thank you.